Here is uh, my Skybolt 50mm 600 uh, focal length uh, telescope. It's one of the best telescopes I've ever seen. For the first time I could see the iris disc around the stars. Uh, it wasn't a ridiculous one of those Altozimut old ones. So I'm just going to attach a dovetail bar with this fleecy material which we use for the chairs and two cable ties as a tube rings. If I want to find tube rings for that, probably they would charge me on the arms and leg. So I'm just going to use this. This is as good as anything. And this material actually is uh, kind of a slippery when it is uh, wrapped around it and uh, tightened. I can actually twist the tube for the right position of the uh, focuser. So let's do this. I've done it for several other telescopes. They were perfect now. I can use them for the first time. I can use them without resorting to those wooden horrible tripods. Now I'm going to use this one. Now I have done it. This is really easy now to rotate. Lovely, this material is really good. I tried it with the fabric. Fabric doesn't let you to rotate it. This material is very good. And uh, also at the same time it's soft. So next, when it is clear, I will go and test it on the night sky and on the mount. Okay, these are two classic Japanese telescopes. Uh, the refractor, one of them is uh, 50 millimeter. It's a sky bolt, one of the sharpest uh, views of the stars I had through that. And this one is a 50 millimeter 600, so that's also quite high F ratios. And uh, let's just test them. I put them on this uh, dovetail bar, so for the first time I can practically use them without actually having a wobbly altosimoto or um, quattro mount. I have a sturdy Sky T2 and I'm going to look at that uh, street light. Let's do this. So I'm using now the Sky Bolt uh, refractor, 50mm diameter of the objective and 600mm the focal length. And uh, I'm using the 40mm achromatic Huygens. Let's see how is the view. Let's see. And that was the view. Looking at that street light. Uh, hopefully next time when it is clear I can observe the planets Jupiter, Saturn and Moon just to see how it is.